Hey guys, today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2013, and today I'm going to show you how to make matzo ball soup, otherwise known as Jewish penicillin. This time of the year with the leaves falling and the, and the heater on and so forth, a lot of people get those upper respiratory colds and boy, this matzo ball soup is, is great for that. So uh, I'm going to show you how I make mine. This is how my mother showed me and uh, I'm going to show you today. Hope you enjoy. So I've got a big pack and a small pack of chicken wings. Some people like to use chicken legs or thighs or even white meat. Uh, chicken wings tend to be a little sweeter, so that's why we choose that. We need a couple hearts of uh, celery hearts here for flavoring. Uh, usually I use one large onion, but uh, I wasn't able to get any at the store today, so I got two small ones. Depending on how much you like carrots, I'll either use one or two of these small uh, the real small baby carrots, I tend to like those. They cook up nicely. I usually use some sort of a, of a bouillon, either in a cube or like these are the granules. I like those. For the flavoring of it, when we're just about done, I usually use what they call pot herbs, but I use uh, thyme and marjoram. But I put them in kind of at the end of things. For making the matzo ball, I usually get the Manischewitz uh, matzo ball mix. It has a couple pouches in there so you can make a lot of matzo balls. It's going to require four eggs, a little bit of olive oil, and salt. All right, one of the very first things that I do is rinse off the chicken wings. I don't put a whole lot of time. I just rinse them off real nice and then I throw them in the pot. I don't have any water in the pot just yet. I put them all in there and then, uh, anyway, once I'm done with that, I'll fill the water up and I'll show you about how far I fill it up. All right, now as you can see, I've got all the chicken wings in here. I filled the water up just enough to cover the wings. What I do for the first few minutes just to, to get the water to heat up and start boiling as I put the lid on it. All right, well, we're finally rolling here. It took a few minutes for it to get boiling, and as you can see, uh, some of the fat starts to render off. And then what I do is I start to scoop that off. Okay. Well, the wings have been cooking for a little over an hour, and as you can see, they're starting to kind of fall apart a little bit. And I'm just going to start scooping these out. I put them. I tend to put them in this plastic bowl because it doesn't uh, conduct the heat quite as much, and allows that allows those wings to start cooling down. Because what we're going to do after they cool down is we're going to pull the meat off of the bones. Now what I'm going to do is drop in, uh, rinsed off the celery. Uh, the hearts, the celery hearts, oops, I'll go ahead and put those in. My, my two smaller onions, I'm going to go ahead and drop them in. And uh, I'll go ahead and put these bags of uh, carrots in. We'll go ahead and get this simmering, and this is when it starts to really smell good in the house. All right, now I can see it's starting to boil again. And if you look in there, you can see it's really boiling heavy. So I'm going to pull the, the lid a little off to the side. We'll back that heat way back so that it just goes to a, a real light simmer. Okay. Now we've, we still have the, uh, the soup simmering. The chicken's cooling here. What I'm going to do is take the matzo ball mix. I'm going to open the box up. And in these boxes, there's two pouches here. I usually make a nice big pot of soup and I use both of these. Each pouch requires two tablespoons of olive oil and two eggs. So the very first thing I do is I go ahead and crack the eggs into it. Since I'm making two pouches, you just, of course, multiply everything by two. So we'll have four eggs and four tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to go ahead and break these eggs into here. That. Go ahead and put four tablespoons of olive oil in. Two, three, four. Take our fork and just kind of blend these together. And then we just break these pouches open and, and put the matzo meal in here. And 
both in. And we'll go ahead and stir this all up. And then once it's all blended, we're going to go ahead and put this in into the refrigerator. I'll go ahead and put this in the fridge. We'll get the matzo balls in the fridge. They get chilled and, and it kind of gels together. We still have the soup uh, simmering here in the pot. Now that the, the chicken wings have cooled down the, to the touch, I go ahead and I start going through the process of pulling the, the meat off of the chicken wings. Okay, we've got all the meat off the bones, and as you can see, one of the, one of the things that I do a little differently than a lot of people do with uh, matzo ball soup is I cook a lot of wings. I like a lot of the, of the chicken to be in the soup. Some of the traditional matzo ball soup dishes that you'll see will be a very, very clear broth with virtually no chicken in it at all and matzo balls and I just don't care for that it's too watery for my taste I like a real hearty matzo ball soup as you can see we're we're actually simmering pretty good here we've got all the veggies and and what I like to do is I like to go ahead and continue to let this cook until the uh, the onions and the celery really start to break down okay well I've, I've let it cook for quite a bit longer and um, as you can see, the celery is starting to break down a little bit more and, and kind of come off the heart of, of uh, the celery stalk there. And the onions are starting to break down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the celery and the onions. Okay, we got all the, the celery and the onions out. Drop the, uh, the chicken down in. Stir that up just a little bit. going to put just a little bit of the bouillon in and then go ahead and stir that up. At this point we're going to go ahead and get it back to a rolling boil and then we're going to go ahead and drop the, the matzo balls in. All right now we've got everything back to a full boil. We have the matzo mix that's fully gelled and cooled and then you need a, a bowl of uh, of just cool water to rinse your hands. We're going to make the balls, we're going to drop them in there. Okay, so basically what I do is I just wet my hands. I get a little bit a little bit in my hand like this, almost about the size of a golf ball or a little bit smaller. Roll them up into a ball and drop it down. Just make sure that the water is in a, uh, is in a full boil. And basically we just keep doing this until until we've uh, exhausted all of the, the matzo mix. Then what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the heat a little bit. We'll put the, uh, the lid back on and then we'll just let them cook. And you need to let them cook for at least 20 minutes before you can eat them. The matzo balls are done. I've gone ahead and let the soup cool down a little bit. Uh, the last little touches that I do to add just a little bit of a nice color we add a little bit of ketchup to it. Not a lot, just a little bit. Matzo ball soup, because of the celery and, and the onions and so forth, can kind of be a little green if you don't add a little bit of color to it. So we're going to add some of the pot herbs, the first of which is uh, margarine. And I just sprinkle a little bit in there. The next one is thyme. And I'll tell you what, it's smelling great. We'll go ahead and, and scoop out a bowl. And this is my version of matzo ball soup. I usually serve it with two matzo balls in there, a little bit of carrots if, if a person doesn't like them. Of course, you pick them out. Uh, plenty of uh, chicken and I will tell you what it is great and it is fabulous if you have a cold and it's also fabulous any time of the year enjoy all right well this is my favorite part of making matzo ball soup and that's eating it and this is uh, absolutely my favorite soup on the planet mm.
this is a real good batch too. Very good. Well, feel free to uh, to write to me at saul at saulnoff.com if you have any questions about this recipe or anything else. And while you're at it, uh, don't forget my new CD that was produced by Jim Salamone, Grammy-nominated producer Jim Salamone up in Newtown, Pennsylvania. We've got uh, several Grammy-winning uh, musicians on here from Randy Bolin, who has worked with Smokey Robinson and Patti LaBelle and, and numerous others. Uh, Randy Cantor from Nashville played piano and organ, and he's uh, worked with Carrie Underwood and, and uh, Ricky Martin, and uh, Jonathan Yudkin in Nashville who has played strings with just about everybody from Neil Diamond to Kenny Rogers and Rascal Flatts and Keith Urban. Uh, love for you to get a chance to hear this, but you can order this through iTunes, through CD Baby, uh, or if you'd like a signed copy of this, just order it right through my website, which is solnoff.com. Make sure to leave a little message there for me that you'd like me to sign it, and I'll get it right out to you. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.